everybody, and welcome back to some more wonderful Wubulus Project Zomboid. And things are looking good still, actually. So, I was told by a singular comment in the comment sections that the carpentry books do indeed work. So I need to keep that in mind um, as I kind of plan out my nights. On the other hand, I was also told that the baseball bat is currently glitched, unbreakable, and wasn't supposed to be in my inventory to begin with. Now that I've kind of set up myself to kind of survive to have a, by having a weapon, I kind of have to hold on to the baseball bat for a little while. At least for a tiny bit. And once I find something better, or just another weapon potentially in general, I will be happy to give it up and leave the bat behind, potentially just if forgetting where I put it like I tend to do anyway. So once that happens, I'll be happy, like I said, to just get rid of it all. And we're going to continue to kind of explore our immediate surroundings and make sure everything that we uh, have around us has been explored and looted to its fullest extent. Uh, we're going to make sure that we fill up everything that we can uh, and make sure that with uh, a decent food stock we'll have the ability to survive say a few weeks or months alone if a horde does tend to walk by. It's always in this game setting up for the inevitable uh, the inevitable hideaway. The, ti the, the time you're gonna have to hide in your house. Is this Okay, we gotta back up. It's always, alright, there we go. It's always the preparation of getting ready to hunker down for potentially weeks or months at a time because eventually that's gonna happen. Eventually it's gonna be absolutely necessary to do so. Okay. Can we just end it? There we go. So, again, it's gonna be looting the nearby areas is gonna be our goal. Now, I can't remember how much of this trailer park I ended up looting, so we're gonna end up swinging back this way and seeing what we can do. Uh, just to see what we left behind. There we go. Whoop. We're gonna let our lungs kind of come down. We're at high exer exertion right now. There we go. Charging up a swing, and there we are. And hopefully, up. Oh, she got right back up as I came near her head. That's kind of bizarre. There we go. Stay down, lady. And she had a flashlight. Utterly useless because I think flashlights are a death sentence eventually. Now, they potentially could be useful when doing late night scavenging, but if you're doing late night scavenging I think you're just completely desperate for food anyway and a flashlight is basically gonna end up fucking you uh, at some point giving your position away um, I'm a little nervous I did hear some banging on a window so we know there's probably a zombie in there you know what I don't uh, I don't particularly care for the safety of this house not a lot of zombies around I think we could handle it pretty well if there were doesn't seem like we alerted anybody else up oh, there's this one in there we'll uh We'll pop open this window, let him climb inside. Oh, I don't think I can open this window. Um, and there's a whole bunch of zombies out there. Uh, I was hoping that we were going to be able to... Alright, so that didn't work at all, actually. Um, actually, that worked terribly. So we're just going to leave and move onward. Not worth it. We can come back to it. There was a small horde there. I was trying to let that zombie in so I could take him out solo. Didn't think it was going to alert pretty much every zombie nearby. It ended up doing that, so we're just going to have to back away. And play it safe. They're just going to kind of attack that house. They're going to wander around in it and think that they're going to find something to eat in there and then eventually get bored when they realize there's nothing around. Alright, let's take a look. We got some uh, post office stuff over here. My character had a surprise, the surprise noise, so I need to make sure everything was good. And on the levee, or on the level... Alright, relax. Whoa, Mama Sita, chill. T chill, stay back. You are way too fast, meaning you are a fresh, fresh turned. That's fine. I had no issue putting a bat into your skull anyway, fresh turned or not. Alright, what do we have over here? Now, we are kind of a bit further away, but I don't want to venture too far north of our home because we did check up there and there were a decent amount of zombies kind of guarding the area. So, plank, we're going to take the plank for now. We just gotta make sure we're safe by doing the swirly dance. As soon as wow, they've taken a long time to pack up that plank. Jesus Christ! There we go. All right, can we get inside here? No, I don't want to have to bash open the window if I don't have to. Uh, let's see if there's a back door. Looks like there is. Is it open? Nope. How about here? That's a mirror. That's not a window. All right, so we have to bash open a window. Let's do it a little bit further away from over there. I have no issues doing it here. Doesn't look like there's any zombies in here anyway. No alarm, which is excellent, and a whole bunch of food. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So we're going to take everything and pop it into our bag. And then do a quick preliminary search of all the shelves. I'll happily take nails 
and pretty much anything else that is provided to me. Nothing over here, and I can't even search these. They're not even searchable, whatever these are. Let's just pop open this door, just to make sure we have it uh, on the escape path if necessary. We'll open up that back door momentarily. I want to make sure we search everything else in here. I think grabbing nails now is probably something we sh we should start doing. Um, we're gonna need to we're gonna need them eventually for construction. Oh, a sledgehammer. Let's take it. Not quite sure how it's gonna fit in here, um, but I think it's something that we could definitely use. Now we could use it as a weapon, but it's only usable when I'm not exhausted. And we know my character is really kind of not too good on that. Uh, he kind of exhausts himself pretty easily. Uh, we are a little over encumbered. We could probably equip this as our secondary and lighten the load slightly. Yep, there we go. And we could pop the empty water bottle back in and continue searching the crates. Hopefully finding an axe. That's my ultimate hope is that we're going to get an axe in here. Alright. Nothing in here. We can't even get to the other side. I could use the... Uh, the sledgehammer, oops, let's leave that open so I know that I've been in here. We could use the sledgehammer to potentially break down a wall, but I just don't think it's worth it. I think we could just bust down a window and just be just as effective. So we're going to do that. Swing inside. Nothing in here. I assume that there would be no alarm here, just because I assume uh, that everything would be considered in the same building. So uh, if no alarm went off when I went on that side, there would be none on the other side as well. We're just going to swing out this way. Alright, let's uh, break his balls here. Only one. Taking him out when I still can is obviously incredibly necessary. There we go. Alright, alright, stop swinging. Stop swinging, you're fine. Alright, let's check the garbage bin. Nothing, nothing. Is there anything else over this way? Or is this essentially a dead end at this point? Looks like a dead end, and it's noon time, so heading back to unload all of that we've gathered is probably a good idea. Oh, wait, there's a building. Oh, is that the... That's in the trailer park. That's not the trailer park that we were in, though, right? That's not the one that we attracted a bunch of zombies to. Let's eat the apple. Let's check. I don't think so, actually. I think this is a safe one, so we're going to sneak over to it and see what we can get, what we can get inside. We're definitely going to get inside. I'm going to bust open that. I'm going to eventually pry open that window, so... Unless the front door is already open. Nope. Alright, let's see if we can get inside here. Let's break... Uh, not break open. I keep saying break open. We're not going to break it. We're just going to eventually pry it open. Which I think we could pull off. So long as he exerts himself a little bit heavily. Let's check our skills. Lightfooted is going to be next. And we have the ability to level up. We have Blunt and Sneaking. It doesn't seem like Blunt has done a terrible, uh, too terribly too much for us. But I might want to save it up for another level of Sneaking. Come on, man. I know this window's a doozy, but... I have complete and utter faith in you to pop this sucker open. There we go. Wait for the Exhausted to go away. No alarm, which is even better for us. Climb inside close it and then we can search what oh what do we got flashlight pens pencils tissues empty mugs could potentially end up being useful for water storage but I think it might be a little late on that end we're gonna take some more carrots and cheese and just do a quick look around I'm gonna leave that open should be a little bit more careful I should have my weapon at the ready all right nope we're good Sheets, yeah, we'll take the sheets. We could use that for the windows at my uh, safe house, which we should be, if there are any that aren't open, we should probably cover them up, though I think I have everything covered. And we're getting tired, so it's time for us to go. We can even pop open this window and just leave through a window. That way we don't have to risk the front door in case there was a wandering walker that way. Though we could check this. I think we have time for at least one more, maybe two. Um, we will... No, don't bang on the window. Oh, this is actually enough. There's way too many zombies. Way too many. That guy's probably... Oh, wow, he's still fast, even after I beat the hell out of him there. Oh, no, there he is. He's slowing down. Now he's dead. And we can just beat on his poor sap ass behind. Check, check, check. Lollipop. In the trash. A trash lollipop? My favorite. What do we got? Yeah, you can just come out. Um, can we not? 
Alright, that's fine. Just gonna bust his ass open too. There we go. Wow, he was a he was a tough one. Them redheads, man. They may lack a soul, but they make for it in uh, inhuman strength. All right, in we go. Good nine millimeter rounds. I guess we could take those on um, the off chance that we end up needing them. Let's hope we don't. Sheet. Yes, let's take the sheet. Uh, how are we looking as far as stuff in here? We can only carry like one or two more things at most. So we gotta be very picky and choosy about what we're gonna bring with us. Anybody in the kitchen? No. Alright, what about over here? Cereal. We'll take it. We'll take it. What about over here? No, no, no. No, no. And no. And nope. Oh, oh, no, I already have a can opener. All right, let's get out of here. Let's start heading home. We've got a hell of a trek back. Leave that door open so I remember. And let's just go. I'm going to be really excited when we see NPCs reintegrated back in. I have a feeling they're going to make things so much more uh, unpredictable. All right, let's uh, figure out a decent way to get out of here. Um, let's swing out this way and through the trees. Where is my house? Up this way? Oh god, I got lost. How did I get lost? I barely went anywhere. Okay, here's my house, I think. Right? Nope. Nope. Uh-oh. No, where am I? Oh god, where am I? Oh lordy. Oh lordy, lordy. Alright, let's leave those zombies there. Ignore them. Sneak around them. And then go, go, go this way I've been here pretty sure I've been here um, maybe up this way I hope it's this way I think it's this way Is this it am I getting close I feel like I'm getting close I think this might be it right here I think I might have found it this better be it I think this is it I'm gonna keep saying this until I know for sure yes this is it oh thank god I got so nervous all right, quick uh, first thing to do is to potentially see what we can do about some of these windows. So let's just take out some of these sheets. There we go. Add sheet. Close curtains. What do we got over here for windows? Add sheet and close curtains. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, there we go. Add sheet. Cl no, close. Close. Close curtains. There we go. That was a little bit tough because the chair was there. And for some reason, this one looks like it's going to be just equally as tough. Close curtains. Alright. And now we'll head upstairs to manage the windows upstairs before getting our butts in bed. If there's even much to manage up here. Uh, the bathroom. I mean, not like I come in here often, but still, worth worth at least doing. Alright, and last but not least, add sheet. Close curtains. Perfect. Excited to get everything done and settled. And we'll get our butts in bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Another successful run. We'll organize our inventory next time around. Our character's just a bit on the too tired side. And I'll see you then. Bye bye